The Stirling engines I have built so far are too complex for energy self-sufficiency and therefore too expensive and maintenance intensive. I would now like to extensively investigate which engine concept would be best for my next project. Thermoacoustic engines have a simple configuration, a high reliability, low manufacturing costs and need little maintenance. The only moving part is the electricity generator. The thermoacoustic engine is still a relatively new invention, which has not been researched much and offers a lot of potential for improvement. The underlying thermoacoustic effect was discovered in the middle of the 18th century, but the adequate attention as an energy conversion technology took well into the second half of the 20th century. There are several different configurations which relay on the principles of traveling and standing sound waves. The typical thermoacoustic engine models you can often see here on YouTube are not the subject of this video as they are not described in the relevant literature and there is still disagreement about their mode of operation. Thermoacoustic engines are devices with simple configuration. Apart from the electric generator, they have no moving parts, providing reliability, low manufacturing costs and reduced maintenance. They consist of passive acoustic ducts and cavities, which contain a gas suitable to support an acoustic wave. To start and maintain the oscillation in the gas, a passive resonant acoustic network is required. The core of the engine contains a hot heat exchanger, a cold heat exchanger and a regenerator between the both to impose a temperature difference on the working gas. Then the fluid enters a thermal buffer tube followed by a second cooler. The power flow is then split into the feedback branch and the power branch. The feedback branch leads the power flow back into the core, while in the power extractor branch an acoustic RC load and a mechanical resonator with an oscillating piston generates electricity. The working fluid undergoes a thermodynamic cycle similar to that of the Stirling. The length and geometry of the waveguide and the physical properties of the working fluid determine the frequency of the engine. The thermoacoustic engine has no moving parts, but unfortunately it is impossible to generate electricity of the engine without mechanical movement. This removes the biggest advantage of the thermoacoustic engine, the absence of wear and mechanical friction. The type of energy generating systems used for the conversion of acoustic energy into electrical energy is therefore of great importance and has a strong influence on, endur of, on endurance properties, performance and efficiency. Thermoacoustic generators are scalable from watts to kilowatts. Simple annular configurations with air at atmospheric pressure and low-cost loudspeaker transducers provide up to 25 watts of power. More sophisticated technology with higher temperatures, helium at higher pressures and better mechanical resonators have thermoacoustic efficiencies up to 30% and power levels of 25 to 1000 watts. The most powerful thermoacoustic engines use circular arrangements with multi multiple cores in series, each with its own power extraction unit. They reach overall efficiencies up to 20% and a maximum power output of 4.5 kW. In most of these developments, the technical details are confidential and information is limited. Despite the great achievement of the research, there is still a lot of room for improvements by the optimization of specific components. The key topic to improve the performance of the thermoacoustic engine is the optimization of the conversion of acoustic power into electrical power, as many losses are incurred here. Thermoacoustic engines can be developed and optimized using numerical models together with computational fluid dynamics. 
The design of the acoustic field is quite complex, especially if you are not familiar with oscillating systems. The general linear theoretical assumptions on which the operation of the thermoacoustic engine is based are quite complex and not very intuitive. The thermoacoustic engine offers many simplifications and advantages. On the other hand, this very specific theoretical design does not correspond to my experience. I am very undecided, but find many aspects very interesting and add the thermoacoustic engine to the list for my next project. What do you think about the thermoacoustic engine? Please let me know and write it in the comments. Thanks for watching.